Okay, this is problem 12 of 33. It says simplify, assume that x does not equal negative 1 and x does not equal 0. Okay, so uh, the first thing I would do is I'm going to look just at the numerator and then just at the denominator. And I'm going to find myself a common denominator between 1 minus x squared or 1 over x squared minus 1 over x. I know that common denominator is going to be x squared because I can't really make x squared go down to x, but I can make x come up to x squared. So this means what I have on the top is really 1 over x squared minus 1 over x times x over x. This is in my numerator. That, of course, is going to give me 1 over x squared minus x over x squared. Okay? I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do the same thing in the bottom. And I'm going to find in the bottom that x squared, once again, is the common denominator. So I've got 1 over x squared plus 1 over x times x over x. Because I have to remember when I add fractions, it doesn't matter if it's numbers and fractions or if it's variables and fractions. I have to have the same denominator. So I have to have a common denominator. That's going to give me 1 over x squared plus x over x squared. Now I can combine these. This is going to give me 1 minus x over x squared all over uh, 1 plus x over x squared. Now this makes me feel a lot better. I have x squared in both of the denominators. I know that when I get ready to um, divide fractions, because that's all you're doing. You have a fraction in the numerator. You have a fraction in the denominator. So you are dividing fractions. This is really, remember, when we divide fractions, we keep. So I'm going to keep that top fraction. We change the divide to multiply, and then I flip x squared over 1 plus x. Okay? Now, this is really nice. I know those x squareds are going to cancel. I'm going to show you why they cancel. Um, I know when I multiply, I do top times top, bottom times bottom, when I'm multiplying fractions together. So that's really x squared times 1 minus x over x squared times 1 plus x. Well, what's x squared divided by x squared? That's just 1, which is going to leave me with 1 minus x over 1 plus x. And that's about as simple as you're going to get it. Uh, that also tells you, you kind of also know you've done it right because it assumes that x cannot equal a negative 1. Because if it did, you would be getting 0 in the denominator in your answer. So that kind of tells you that denominator is correct in the answer. And then it also tells you uh, x cannot equal 0, which makes sense because you couldn't have 0 down here. Or you would get undefined. Uh, so the correct answer should be, I believe, 1 minus x over 1 plus x.